Easy Updates Manager. It's a WordPress plugin. It's a handy tool. If you're new to WordPress and you're learning and a little bit intimidated, I hope this video helps you learn to become more confident using plugins that can make your workload a lot easier to control. Easy Updates Manager is a light yet powerful plugin that allows you to manage all kinds of updates, both on your single site install or in WordPress multi-site. If you don't know what a WordPress multi-site is, a multi-site is a type of WordPress installation that allows you to create and manage a network of multiple websites from a single WordPress dashboard. That means you can manage all your websites from one location. Now, I wanted to remove a kismet anti-spam from this website, storeby.shop, because I don't use it on this website, so I want to remove this plugin because keeping plug keep because when you keep a plugin listed on your dashboard as an installed plugin and they're not all activated it prevents your website from uploading fast it can hold your website back so what happened was i want to go delete it and i'll show you i want to go delete are you sure you want to delete yes i do then it tells me could not fully remove the plugin Akismet from my installed plugin area on my WordPress dashboard. So I learned with Easy Updates Manager, you can either click on configure over here, click on configure, or you can click on updates and click on general. They both will bring you to the same area. I'm clicking on configure. It brings me to the Easy Updates Manager. You see general, plugins, themes, logos, advanced, premium. I'm going to click on plugins. This helps you. These plugins help you. And as you can see, this plugin is an active for your site. Consider removing it. Of course I want to consider removing it. Now since I'm more confident using plugins. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to check it. And I'm going to go to bulk actions. Plugin updates on, plugin updates off. Hmm. Um, I'm going to tick blocked. Why? Because you might have to block it in order to delete it from your plugins. Let's see if that works. I want to delete a Kismet anti-spam. Delete. Yes, I'm sure it wouldn't let me. Let me go back there again. There's something, they're linked to each other. So I'm going to tack I'm going to click on plugins. I'm going to figure it out with you live. Um, updates disabled. Why can't I remove this? Blocked it. I'll check it again. What's the problem here? Why can't I remove that? Updates enabled. Updates disabled. Let me see what that. Yup. I disabled it. Okay. Maybe I have to go here. Plugin updates off. Maybe you have to do that. Like you have to deactivate a plugin before you can delete it from your dashboard. Let's see if that works. I'll go back to plugins. I'm going to check and delete. Yes. It won't let me could not fully remove the plugin Akismet 
PHP. Now, here we go. Hi guys. I'm here to tell you that I spent the next two hours. I opened up WordPress Optimizer trying to figure it out. The video would be too long. I opened up the Updraft Plus and I even signed into the website itself because it's linked to WordPress. That's stuff that you will learn. You visit my playlist. I'll put the link in the description below. Every time I learn something new about WordPress and plugins, I add it there. Then I went into Easy Updates Manager and I trialed and errored. I, you know, I weeded out anything I could figure out how to get rid of this plugin. It would not get removed. Now, because I'm becoming more confident and I, I'm just not giving up, I'm becoming more of an expert at using WordPress, I did something I've never done before. Because when I see code that I feel is linked to the PHP, I stay clear. But there's an, there's an area in WordPress, it's um, Plugins Editor, where you can go in and manually remove a plugin. I never knew that. But doing everything that I just did in the past two hours, I've been sitting here two hours trying to weed it out, trying to figure it out. It just helped me learn how to use WordPress more confidently. I learned a lot. And that's part of learning. Just like on a job. On the job training. On the job learning. I'm building websites that are becoming businesses that are generating me money. That's why this is so important to me to take this opportunity when I have the time to sit here and to just click away and just keep trying until you figure out what you need to figure out. And I didn't watch any videos. I just kept doing it until I figured it out. So stay tuned and I'll show you how I removed the plugin manually in the plugin editor section. Good luck. I'm in the plugins area. As you can see, Akismet is gone. It's finally removed, but I was not able to remove it the expected way. You click deactivate, then the delete button shows up, and then you delete. Instead, I clicked on plugin editor right over here and whenever I see code, because you're editing like in the real back office, if you go over here, select plugin to edit, I clicked on a kismet. It opened it up like this and you see all the code. And it's interesting, if you want to learn about it, you could go down the list and it'll give you information about the plugin, who builds it and you read all the code. But that's intimidating to someone who doesn't know that it's okay to remove this manually from the back end. So what you want to do is, what, what I did was, then I updated file and it removed it. Then I went back to installed plugins and it was gone. I've never done that before. I'm just mastering how to use WordPress. I'm becoming an experienced WordPress user. It's an amazing content management system. If I used a website builder, I would never be allowed to do that. So I hope you learned something. And yes, I learned by doing and I I went to WordPress Optimize, I went to Updraft Plus, I went to Updates, the Easy Updates Manager, and then all of a sudden I clicked on this and I took a chance and I was nervous and it worked. Good luck folks, I hope you learned something. Don't give up, visit the link in the description below to I guess my WordPress playlist. Every time I learn something new, I'll upload a video. Never give up. Have a good one. Bye.